What's up guys, this is Yoshi Games, and welcome back to the Super Mario World 100% walkthrough series. This time we're going to be taking on Chocolate Island, and it turns out I've actually been saying it wrong the entire freaking playthrough, thinking it's like Chocolate Mountain or something, but nope, turns out the name is Chocolate Island, which for some reason I got wrong, but it's all good, doesn't really matter. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this part, because this is one of my favorite worlds inside the entire game. And watch this. Bam! Have you ever seen that before? Nope, I bet you haven't. Actually, you probably have, but whatever. That's still pretty cool. Get launched out of the pipe. So, yeah. Um, two secret exits in this, in this world in total. So, it shouldn't take as long, at least I hope, it shouldn't take as long as the Forest of Illusion, which was the last episode. And that was hell, guys. That was hell. I lost so many lives in that goddamn episode, but hopefully we won't make the same mistake here. There we go. Chocolate Mountain 1. I mean, Chocolate Island 1. i got to stop saying it wrong. Um, Chocolate Island dash 1. We did it. Okay, let's go to the ghost house now. And I don't think... No, no, there's no secret exit in this level, but I think you do need a cape to just get the regular exit. I think. I think. It's all coming back to me. Oh, yeah. Also, one more thing. I found out you can actually spin off these guys, so look at that. Bam, you can just spin off them. That's pretty cool. I thought they just act like ghosts and, uh, you know, they just instantly damage you, but nope. That's not the case at all. Alright. I just want to be a bit cautious here, because I kind of want to keep my cape, because I feel like if we lose it, uh, we won't be able to get that exit, so... I think, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think we like need a cape for this level for some reason. But we'll see, we'll see. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Did you guys see that? That was pretty close, okay. Uh, you go over me, thank you. And let's go through this door. There we go. Oh yes, this part. We'll save that block in case we need it again. But for now, whoa, whoa, whoa. You first, mister. Thank you very much. Fly up here, go to this door, and we beat the level. Maybe there's another way of getting up there, like an intended way, but this is the only way I know. Having a cape. If you don't have a cape, I think you're screwed. I don't know. There's probably, like, a better way of getting up there, like... Oh, yeah, probably dragging those boos, the ones that turn into the, that cement thing, that turns solid up there, and using them as a platform. But anyway, Chocolate Island 2. Let's go. Now, this level's pretty interesting. So, in order to get the secret exit, you have to speedrun through the entire first part of the level and get here very quickly. I think that was quick enough. Yes, I think. And then this entire section changes and it varies depending on your time getting here. So, uh, if this is the, the way to the secret exit, well then I did it correctly and I was a very fast boy, but if not, well then this is just a regular exit, but we'll see and we'll come back. So, oh, whoa, 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 chill, Mario. I have a feeling this is the secret exit path. Okay, okay, please keep the cape. That's the number one priority. Actually, no, Yoshi's number one priority. I'm sorry, I did not just say that. Just keep everything. Yeah, see, these blocks really help. Okay, so this is the secret exit path, so we got there quick enough. So how that works is, I'm pretty sure if you get to that first pipe in a certain amount of time, like really quickly, uh, it unlocks that special secret part. And this will just take us to... Uh, chocolate secret. So let's go ahead and do this quickly in the meantime. Whoa, okay, let's just fly over that like a boss. Alright, uh, don't want to go down there. Let's just keep chilling. Whoa, there was a little ramp there. Okay, let's keep going, keep going. I don't know what's in that pipe, but kind of don't want to find out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice little checkpoint here. Go through this pipe. Let's go, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um,. Alright, I think we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm just gonna slow fall the entire way through. Just to be extra safe, you know. Never be too safe in a in an old Mario game. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we've got those guys there. Okay, okay. Um, um, um. Yep. It's safe, I think, I think. Got the buzzy e the buzzy beetle squad there. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. So there's Chocolate Secret, pretty much complete, once you get past this part. And... 
Is this the end? Maybe I'm just overestimating myself. Should be the end. Oh no, just run, just run, just run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What's this? Just a... Oh, Fire Flower. I actually don't want that, but whatever. Would have preferred to get... Oh no, Yoshi, come back. Yoshi, I do want, so... Gotta make sure to keep this guy. Alright, you go there. Run, run, run. How long is this level, I thought? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's low, that's low, that's low. Okay. Now it's the end, right? There we go. Let's go, we did it. Chocolate secret complete, and this... Does it take us to the last star road, I think? Or somewhere? I'm not sure. Maybe it just takes us to the final world. So this is not the second to last episode, but it's the second to last world, so... Still a few episodes to go, and where are we now? Oh, this just takes us straight to the uh, final boss of the world we're currently in, so... As you can see here, there's the world Bowser. Which we'll get to next episode, actually. Then after that we'll do Star Road, then after that we'll do Secret World. But anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, beat this level normally. So, I don't know how long I have to wait before um, before advancing through the level. I think it's like 260 or something. If you get there before 260, you unlock the secret exit path. But if you uh, get there after, or I mean, yeah, after 260, uh, then you should be going the normal path. So I'm just going to wait to be safe. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Should we go now? I don't know. I kind of just want to wait another 10 seconds. Yeah, let, let's go to 240. That seems like a more safe number. So I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, guys, but I don't know the exact number you need here. Alright, that should be safe. That should be safe. And no Red Coopers, hopefully. Okay, no Red Coopers. So if it's Red Coopers, then it's Secret Exit Path. If it's just these dinos, then see, I really need a cape right now. Cape would help. Whoa, that was scary. Um, if it's these dino dudes, well then, you're going the regular path, so... That secret exit can be a bit confusing, but... Nothing too hard. And why do we get another fire flower? I actually wanted that spare cape, but who cares. Alright, onto this segment on the level. Got a bunch of mushrooms I don't want to collect, and I just collected one like an idiot. And... That just pushed me back. You see the frame rate, how it drops randomly? I think that's because of too many sprites on the screen at once, like those mushrooms. Okay. Okay, uh, this is scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, got the dino army. FPS dropped again, for some reason. Lots of dinos, but there we go. We just got the regular exit. So that's the first secret of exit of this world, and then there's one more. Which is coming up shortly, my dudes. So let's have a look. Chocolate Island 3. So let's do this. On this level is where you can get the other secret exit. So I'll show you guys how to do that. But firstly, I need a cape, so can I please... Whoa, what the heck was that? Oh, no! <gasps> I'm so sorry, Yoshi. Rip. F in the chat, boys. F in the chat, boys and gals. Alright. Can we get a cape here? Please? Thank you. Very helpful. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we'll beat it normally first, I guess. Okay, just careful here. Actually, no, let's just go the secret exit way first, you guys. Let's just do that. Alright, I just don't want to mess up. So here's the checkpoints. There we go. Can we get another spare cape? That'd be very pog. Poggers, let's go. Um, alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, alright. Oh, that's just the worst timing for those... <gasps> We're dead. Damn it. <laughs> we freaking died. Well, at least we got the checkpoint, so... Whatever. That did not go as to plan, but we got a spare mushroom, so yippity you, yippity yay. I think in order to get this, uh, wait, can we just press select? Yes, we can. I actually completely forgot about that feature. You can just press select and it gives you your item. Why have I not been using that in this entire playthrough? I don't know. I just completely forgot, honestly, but and nevertheless, we'll keep going. Is this a spare cape? I want that spare cape, if that's a spare cape. I hope it is. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. That was complete waste. We're back to square one with the one cape. Okay. Oh, let's be careful. Let's be careful. They're so awkwardly timed. There's like no perfect time to go. 
between these two. Just so unlucky. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, at least... Okay, we did that. We did that. Yes, a cape. Okay. Please just get this cape and not fail that life. Come on. Come on. Alright, alright. So, if you go up there, that's a regular exit, but... It's kind of obvious what you have to do here, that the arrows are pointing for you. If you run, and then you- whoa, that Koopa. If you just fly, you can do this, and bam, you're at the secret area. Secret exit area. Another level in which the goalpost is a secret goalpost behind the first goalpost, if that makes any sense. It's like behind it, it's like a secret one. And this secret exit is actually just a regular path in your way, yes it is. And now if you go back and beat it regularly, you can see the stupidity behind this. It just like, it makes you go in a loop, basically. So we obviously want to get that 96 exit uh, screen on our selection screen thingy. So actually, you know what, let's just, let's just fly here. So we can flex to all of my epic friends. Just kidding, I have absolutely zero friends. Okay, I just kind of roasted myself there. Let's just keep going, let's just keep going. Alright. All right, get rid of this dude. And let's fly, get that checkpoint in case. Keep flying, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Now we're here. This is where stuff gets kind of, kind of spicy. But it's all good. Oh no. Whoa, that was incredibly close. Jesus, okay. There we go, there we go. We're all good. Go up this vine. It's actually really hot in my room. Uh, I'm gonna turn that heater off. Okay. Whoa. We, we still got it. We made it. There we go. And this is just a regular exit, and the reason we're getting it is because we want to get that 96 exit screen. So, because we're 100% completing this game. And as you can see, look what this does, guys. Bam. Just in a circle. Very useless. And let's go ahead and do Chocolate Fortress now. So, yeah. We've already gotten all the secret exits in this world, so there's that. Okay, there's that out of the way. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I think if you run into the side of those things, they don't hurt you, but if the tip, like the end, touches you, then you're kind of screwed. Alright, I don't like these fireballs either. Definitely don't like these fireballs. Whoa. Alright, let's just... Whoa. Yeah, I think they hurt you. I don't know if they hurt you, but... They should. It'd, it'd make sense if they do. Okay, there's a thwomp here. How you doing, Mr. Thwomp? Can we actually go up there and there's like a secret part? I don't remember. You can probably run along the top there. But it looks like it stops at a point, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, little guy. How you doing, boy? How you doing? It's like a little baby. <laughs> okay. Can we get something cool? Nope, we don't need that. We already have a spare one. <gasps> run. Run. Oh, that's nice. That's convenient. We got those pink blocks helping us out there. Spin on you. Whoa, okay. That did not go as planned. Give me my cape. <gasps> we didn't get the cape and we died. <laughs> Damn it. We got the checkpoint at least, so... That was unfortunate. That was a pretty unfortunate event right there. Okay, just run, just run, just run. <gasps> okay, that was close. That was close. I don't want to take any risks and twirl in your face. Whoa. His little buddy's back, his little boy. I like to think of it as his baby. Alright, go down here. Let's get this mushroom. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Yep, you go first. Okay, this is kind of badly timed, but all good, all good. Alright, don't want to mess with these little guys. Alright, is this the part where I died? Uh, right here, somewhere? Yes, this part, this part. Oh, no. <gasps> run. Run. Run for your life. Okay. Run for your life. Run for your life. Cape, thank you. Very good. And here is the boss. Well, not the boss, just the fortress boss. But it's still considered a boss. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, let's just go on here to be safe, and bam. We did it. Right? We, we did it, right? There we go. <laughs> All good. I'm actually filming this part on the same day as I filmed part 5. I might not upload on the same day as I filmed part 5, but... Um, just to tell you guys, I am filming it on the same day. Chocolate Island 4, let's do this. Um, just slide down here. Oh, I remember this world. 
This is one of the levels I played on my neighbor's SNES back when I was like literally like four or five. I also played a lot in like 2011 when I was a bit older. But I definitely remember this level. This is probably the most nostalgic level for me. So if you go down that way, okay, never mind, got it wrong. So you actually do have to go this way. And there's a bunch of like Koopa coins and secret parts. Yeah, I just remember this whole thing. Yeah, there's the one up area. Oh, the memories. This level in particular, guys. This level in particular. This one gets me. Okay. Looks like you need a P-switch or something to get those, but... We're not fussed about Koopa coins. I mean, some some people who do walkthroughs probably care about the Koopa coins and get them in every single level, but... Honestly, don't really care. Whoa. Look at these dudes. Oh, wait, what? You can't walk on them once they're, once they're in the thing? Oh... Oh no. My chair is really squeaky. I have to stand very still for my YouTube videos. My gaming videos. Alright. Now let's hit select over here. Get ourselves this mushroom. Why haven't I been, why have I not been using that this entire time? I don't know. But at least now we are. I mean some players could argue some players could like argue how uh they don't like the fact that it just drops an item for you when you get hit. If you can hear background noise, it's just my family's being kind of loud right now, so I apologize about that. And also lots of door slams. I've, I've noticed in the last few episodes, you just randomly hear a bang. It's like when I'm talking and it's just people slamming doors. Because when we have the cooler or the heater on, uh, like when you slam the door, it's like 10 times louder. You guys know that when it's like... Your house is cooling down or heating up, and the door just goes pow, very loud. Okay, let's. Okay, firstly let's get this, and we'll go in this yellow pipe. Oh, we can't go in there. Okay, don't know what's up. What that's for? Oh, okay, okay. They're very inconsistent, these dudes. Sometimes they walk past each other, but sometimes they bump into each other. And uh, and what am I doing here? Sometimes they walk into each other and bump off each other and split directions, kind of annoying, but whatever, we beat it. Going pretty decent for time, 17 minutes 30, I mean, that's not bad. Got one last level, just before the final boss of the world, I mean, like, final castle or whatever. Alright, this is the world where it's kind of crazy, so... Oh, fire flower, and a Yoshi, whoa, thank you. It's a very generous gift. So, why do we even need this P-switch in the first place? I actually don't know. Do we need to go through that pipe? Oh, you know what? I want this, so... YOLO. Oh no! <gasps> Come back! Wait, did we hit that? We got nothing from it? Or did we get a mushroom? I can't tell. No, Yoshi, come back! Yoshi, come back! Come back! Come back! I can just get rid of this mushroom, actually. I don't want it. Just chilling there. Probably regret get that later, but all good. No regrets. Oh, so this is the part we would have needed the P-switch for. Maybe that pipe, like when you enter it earlier. Um, you end up there somewhere. Lots of pipes, lots of pipes. <gasps> okay, that scared me, that scared me, not gonna lie. Hello. 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 Oh, no. ASCF movie reference. Yay, we did it. But unfortunately, Yoshi's gonna miss out on the final level of this world again. We always seem to have a Yoshi for the final castle. Wendy's castle. All right. Lots of dry bones. Stupid immortal creatures. Psych. They're not immortal. Oh. <gasps> I regret getting rid of that mushroom earlier. I knew I'd regret it. And I was like, oh, no regrets. But now I regret it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. These things look so different in Super Mario World. Like, in the new games, they're, like, yellow. Well, they're not... Oh, we just died. <laughs> well, they're, like, black with spiky yellow thorn things. But in the older game, they look so different. I mean, I like both designs, but I think the new one's better suited for these things. Okay. All right, chill out. Got the dry bones coming as well. This level's just annoying, honestly. It's not too hard, but if you're trying to rush through it, like, it can get difficult, certainly. Okay. 
Okie dokie. I want to get a DVD of, like, Super Mario World. Not, like, the Super Mario World, but, like, as in the animated TV show from a long time ago. If you guys have ever seen that. Okay, we can't actually hit the blue blocks. I thought maybe they'd give us star power or something, but maybe they give us nothing at all. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. This part... Wait, where did that come from? What the heck? Bro, <laughs> one-up just came out of nowhere. Just straight up like, yeet. Okay, we made it, we made it. Well, not made it, but we made it past the hard part. Bam, bam, run. Bam, bam. Bam, run. Bam. Bam, run. Bam. I was saying run even though I wasn't running. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Through the door. Okay. Spare mushroom. I will not take this for granted. Certainly will not. Let's go over here. Ooh, these guys. <gasps> Wait. Go back, go back. Okay. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Okay, let's start going now. Get an early head start. Uh, run. Run. Oh god, oh god. I don't like this part. Oh god, oh god. Okay, so we need to make this... <gasps> Careful. Eh. Oh, that was close. We almost slid off there. See that, guys? We almost slid off. Okay, okay. Okay, it stops. Nice. Try bones get out of my face. Let's go the middle path, because this guy goes really slow. <gasps> it's so slippery. Alright, we've got the cape. And we're about to beat Chocolate Island, guys. Let's beat this stuff. Alright, alright. Puppets, again. This is Wendy, am I right? I think it's Wendy. Oh no, oh no. That threw me off when she was upside down. No. <gasps> we're down to mini Mario. Don't die, don't die. We're probably gonna die, but whatever. Don't die, don't die. <gasps> there she is. Oh, I was scared to hit her. I was scared to hit her. I was scared to jump. Okay. Okay, she's all the way on the other side. We have no chance. Oh, oh, oh. There she is. Let's go. We did it, my boys. And it's going to make my life a lot easier because uploading this video will not take like a whole freaking hour due to the amount of time we completed in. So, awesome. Did we die in this episode at all? I think maybe once or twice, like in the ghost house or something, I'm pretty sure, but... Otherwise, all good. Look at this. What the heck? Is that a mop? Oh, it's one of those things you paint with or something? <laughs> it's hilarious. The animations just get more ridiculous every single time, but... Yeah, there we go. Chocolate Island is all done. And looking back, back at the footage from the last episode, that one level, the one secret fortress, took us like eight to nine minutes to complete. So, take like five minutes off that video, it comes half an hour or something instead. And yeah, we'll continue on with this next time. So, Sunken Ghost Ship, we will do it next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been Yoshi Games in the Super Mario World 100% walkthrough series. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.